As I said, this is psychological horror. The <laughs> meaning it's just gonna be disturbing. Hello again. What are you? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Lads. My name is Wolf Akita, and unfortunately, uh. I, by the time I was editing this, I realized that my microphone, uh, my headphones broke, so the microphone audio did not work for the first and last half of the video. Uh, the game we're playing is Time is Still here. It's a game by Algebra Falcon. Unfortunately, because it broke, I'm just going to cut to when the audio starts working, and in the end, I'll just leave you guys to the video and, like, let you guys watch through it, but it's free as on itch.io, and please enjoy the video. Okay, so I hold on. All right, so I just checked and I can be heard. So, uh, how do I get out of this backspace? I don't know the controls. There we go, it's X. Now, let's get straight into the game. A something critical video game studios game. Concept by Luke Nunston, Heming Chen, Dylan Thompson, Avery Design. I cannot read it. I cannot read. Music by Mon Monom Dylan Thompson, Avery something. Art by Luke. No. <laughs> Con this film features a a scenes of sun and disturbing imagery, sound, domestic abuse, and violence. So this is a very disturbing game. You don't know where or who you are. I mean, however, a small voice begins to call you from within. It says, walk around using arrow keys or the mouse. Interact with the objects using spacebar or the mouse. Access menu or go back using the escape key or by double tapping. Alright, I'm gonna use my arrow keys. There's a painting here. Okay, so shift to sprint. What do we look like? Zoom in on that. We look weird. So we move pretty fast. There's a painting here. That's a cool painting. I never really understood. Wait, this is at the bottom. I never really understood art. I do sketches. You can see them on my Instagram. Go check that out. There's a painting here. I'm sure there's meant to be, like, a specific way I'm supposed to interpret these to understand the game and its world. But I don't, because I'm not a genius. As I, as I said, this is psychological horror. The... <laughs> Meaning, it's just going to be disturbing. Hello again. What are you? I see you found your way to the- from the entrance. It's just- I can see like a bit of a face. Oh, it looks like fingers or something. It's a shame by many a soul have gotten lost in our lobby alone. No matter. My name is Sharon. Sharon, 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 mate. Please to make your acquaintance. Oh, look at you. A, the strong silent type. No, I, my, I'm a video game character who cannot speak. It's a shame. I thought I would have someone to keep me company. But 
but there's more important things, I guess. I should get I should get to why you're here. See, I got word, and now I'm not sure if it came from upstairs or downstairs per se. But I got word that these paintings need cleaning. Look, I don't want to do the work but myself. So it's a damn miracle you came along. See, it has been hold on. I'm thirsty. Stay hydrated. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Well, about 70 years since I've seen someone. So let's just say your work will be very much appreciated. Well, what you just staring at me for? Oh, I see. You want me to save your game, right? I can do that for you. Okay. There you go. What else would you like to do? Context, please. Ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> so you can talk, huh? See, to answer your question, mate, I gotta think. Think hard. And that requires effort. See, you haven't really done anything for me at this point. Clean up some paintings and they'll be different for you. Remember, I'm always here if you gotta save. Or if you're lonely. <laughs> I don't like you. See the painting here? Would you like to clean it? Yes. God! What was that? No, oh, nothing in return. Oh my god. Oh, excuse me. I can hear you back there about to leave. I don't get visitors very often. In fact, I don't get them at all. If you're going to head out, could you at least talk to me first? Uh, hello, who are you? Oh, is that me right there? I don't know. I see. Well, how do I say it? That makes two of us. See, as for me, I'm... My name is... I forgot how embarrassing. Anyways, I've been having a problem. Though I cannot remember what that problem was. Oh, I see. Now the problem is that I forget things. Well, I do remember something. Behind me lies a mage, which is something especially cool for someone like me. Can never seem to make it far, but for some reason, I really want to find what lies in the center of it. And I forgot exactly why, but you have to. You seem to have the go-getter attitude necessary for such a task. So could you please help me? Tell me what awaits for me there. I'll wait right here as to do not disturb you or anything. Alright, let's do that. There's a note here. It reads, Forgive me, Eva, for I will not see you on the other side. Mm. There's another note over there, and me being me, I gotta go find it. I gotta go there. Oh my god, I got so scared when I heard the little glitch. If someone chases me, then there's a note here. I hate you more than anything else in the world. Yeah. So there are definite. There is definitely a bigger deeper meaning here. But I'm not very smart. If you came here for like looking at stories and secrets, you're on the wrong channel. Though. There's a note here. It reads, those voices, do you hear them? The ants, do you see them? Yeah. If you want so story, recommend this game to like Matt Pat or Super Horror Bro. There's a note here. It reads, Those nights we spent together, you remember them, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I hate mazes. Like, I'm really good at, like, regular mazes. There's a note here. It reads, There's one thing for sure. Your thoughts cannot be trusted anymore. Yeah. Give me like a maze on paper, and I got that in the bag. Easy, no sweat, no problem. 
Give me, throw me in a maze and I will cry. Because I have a terrible sense of direction when it comes to video games. That's why I don't play, that's why when I'm playing games like Fallout or Skyrim, I open my map every like 10 seconds. I'm just ready for something to like jump out and start chasing me. There's a note here. It reads, I feel there's a monster going inside me. Who knows, the very same could happen to you. Is he in this maze as a monster? There's a note here. It reads, I love you more than anything else in the world. E. So, E is like having mixed signals. Because one second, he's saying I hate you more than anything. Now he's saying I love you. There's a note here. It reads, This is Mr. Karabekian. You have found him, or perhaps he has found you. Is this a center? Oh, there's a note here. The text next to it has been censored. Blur that, what the heck are you doing here? No idea. It certainly seems like it. I'm the guy who built the, this dear maze. And what you're doing right now, well, it's messing it right up. So I'm gonna need you to turn around where you came from and let me work in peace. No, I can't do that. I wish to God I wasn't dead right now, because if I was, good sir, I'd strung you with both my hands. You're dead. Aw, oh, don't act like you're surprised by a kid. Everyone here has kicked the bucket, just just some more so than others. And I unfortunately happen to be among those more so folk. Listen, I don't ever... I don't, I don't even think I'm real. The real me is about a thousand miles that away, playing fiddle with the man downstairs if you know what I mean. But that doesn't mean that the me that's here can't have some fun. See, when I was alive and kicking, I had the misfortune of living with my wife for those last 50 odd years. I wasn't like... It wasn't like she was bad or anything either, but you know. Even if you have a filet mignon for dinner every night, that starts hanker hankering for some. You start hankering for something else, but it's fine. Came up with ways to entertain myself. You see, though I have passed before my wife, her brain went first. And here's the kicker: I got quite the rise on it. When I began, I started writing notes and drawing all around the house. Some were nice, some were not. All were cryptic. So. I'm guessing this is he who's been putting the notes around the maze. They were poison to her adult brain, but she read them all the same. Soon she would forget ones she, she read, and which ones she hadn't. Eventually drove her mad. I stopped writing them not long after my job was done. Boy, the fun I would have watching her wander the house, go upstairs, read my notes, then down again, and do the same thing. This is a sick, sick man. Now I get to do the same, but bigger and better. If I have it my way, she'll be wandering this way for eternity. Pretty great, am I right? I'm stopping this. Well, what are you going to do about it? Listen, I may not know much about this place, but I know this. For the people who can't, who can move on, God, God bless her soul. There's a lot of swear words. Let me blur all of them. Still loves me, and have fun trying to convince her to stop. In my 50 years of treating her how you would expect expect I did, even I couldn't manage that. Plus, for her to move on, she would have to remember what is happening, right? Not to mention, if you convince her to get out of the limbo, I'll be trapped here forever, alone. So don't do it for... So don't do it e even a smidgen of sympathy for little old me. I'm struggling to read this, but I shouldn't worry much. There's a fat chance you'll be able to change anything. 
I'm just gonna sit here and continue working on making my maze even bigger. I'm gonna look through stuff. Okay. So I'm guessing I need to go talk to her. I'm gonna tell her what's going on. There was another note, I believe. Was there? No. Yeah, no. But that's so messed up. That's what I like about psychological horror games. It's not in your face. Did you do it? Did you reach the center of the maze? I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Well, tell me. What was there in the center? Your husband. Oh, really? I don't remember much, but I can never forget the unending love for Elias. What did he say to you? He said he loves you. Really? That That's nice. I just wish he had told me when I was still... Still, I'm sorry, you probably don't want to listen to me talk to such things. Though I know I will never be able to reach him. I should be happy that he's there. The whole thing does feel a little empty, I guess. But now that I know... Now that I know... No... What's at the end? I don't really see the point in Emmy staying here anymore. Maybe it's my memory, but the thought of just leaving this place behind never occurred to me before. At this moment, though, it seems like the only thing I can do. Thank you, little one, for helping me realize a lot of things. I did it. So, let's see if he'll have any dialogue. So, music like this. It's soothing. It gives me an eerie feeling because music like this I've seen played in like bathrooms videos. I see you talked to her, huh? Well, what happened? Did she move on? Yes. That means I'm stuck here without her till the end of time. Curse you, you ratty old. How could you do this to me? Wait, I apologize. Please don't leave. You can stay here and walk through my maze, right? Please. Don't go. I feel bad. Go. He's probably gonna like chase me or something. Luckily when you put me in a 2D space with a maze I've been through, I can usually memorize the right path. There's a painting here. Your work with it is complete. Ho ho ho, looks like you managed to help Ava move on. Congrats, buddy. Though seeing that it was just a maze, stroll it, and a heart to heart. I'm a tad embarrassed I didn't do the job myself. Ne nevertheless, the amount of work you save me is commendable, to say the least. I know you must be chomping at the bit to hear about what's happening to you. So I decided to to field some pre-approved questions for you. Now, you've only cleaned one painting, so I won't be too slick, but you should feel free to talk to me if you want to learn something about what's going on. And if you're hungry for more info, there's always two more paintings. Now, what can I help you with? Save my game. Alright, so... Let's do one more painting. Alright, talk to me. Sharon's favorite food. Monster truck. Ah, my favorite food. Um. I don't have a favorite food. In fact, I I don't know anything about food. It just sounded like a nice thing for someone to ask me about. Do you mind telling me about food? Maybe you can help me decide. Ooh, okay. Dumplings? It's really good. Hmm. A moist ball of filling, sometimes flesh, sometimes vegetables, and wrapped neatly in flour, water, paper. Sounds good, but I'm not sure if that would be my favorite. Monster trucks. As for monster trucks, I know 
I know jack squat about them. There's so much swearing! <laughs> so I certainly know nothing, nothing of Grave Digger and its four, 540 cubic inch Maryland 1450 HP. And I don't know any of them. Got two more paintings. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Okay. Okay. Uh, hello? A oh, voice speaking in and over the intercom. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? I'm just messing with you. This is a recording. Listen to you. I have designed this place with full intention of keeping people out. I take the very fact that you're standing here as a failure, a big one. But there's nothing I can do about that now, except this. The super mega awesome security system. See, I found a way to let only my loved ones through. Not to say that anyone has been visiting lately, but that doesn't matter. Look, I got... I, I, look, to get to me, you have to answer riddles. Hard ones. Whoever you are, there is no way you're getting through. Hehehe. <laughs> I bet you're real scared right now. Will? I'm not going to hold you any longer. Here's the first riddle. Are you ready? Yes. Well, it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. Yes. This someone is my grandma's child, and my grandpa's child as well. But, they are nobody's son. Who is that someone? Answering your key bad to the left of the door. Do it. Do it now. If you mess up, I'm going to kick you out. Can you repeat the riddle? I repeat, this someone's my grandma's child and my grandpa's child. Nobody's son. Nobody's son. Hold on. This someone is my grandma's child and my grandpa's child as well, but they are nobody's son. They are your mother. Oh, wait. My mother. You got the answer, but how? That's fine, I guess, but you won't get through the next room. You'll find it behind the big door. Hello? <laughs> if you're listening to this, it means you made it through the first room. I have no clue how you did that. You must be either really smart or the person I'm looking for. But could you, could you be her? Whatever, enough for that. I don't think I have a gender. We are moving on to the next riddle. Are you ready? Of course you are. Now here it is. A cloud is my, a cloud is my mommy. The wind is my papa. When I grow up, streams and rivers will be my sons of my own. And I guess that fruits and veggies, my daughter. When you die, you will find me in the dirt. That if I die, though, remember and put your answer in key bag. You mess up, I'm gonna kick you out. No, no, So many thought appears in your head. See the text in this room. Selecting and using the backspace can be utilized by prison. Rain. I'm thinking rain. The door unlocked. Yes! You got the answer, but how? That's fine, I guess, but you won't get through the next room. You'll find it behind the big door. This is easy! There appears to be a hammer here. Would you like to pick it up? Yeah. You obtained a hammer. Here, well, it appears to be a map for you. It reads for you. Looking at the map, it 
appears to be nailed down quite tightly. Yes. It looks like there's a message written on the script beneath the panel. No matter how hard you try, you aren't able to read it. Photo here for you. You. Frame fastened back with nails. This is like a puzzle room. This is easy. It's just a puzzle room. Alright, what does it say? The password is 6174. I love it. Oh, whoops. I do. Bingo. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, you. You're not her, are you? That's okay, though. Because I... I have the real her right here. Look, look. Uh, who is her? She's, she's. Sniffing. I had a feeling someone like you would come. You want to pull me out of this place, right? Tell me, why are you here? To help you move on. Move on? Well, I'm staying put right here, putting my feet down. See, I have unfinished business in this river. And I'm gonna stay as long as it takes as it takes for me to deal with it. What happened? Listen, mister. As you may know, I really like puzzles. I love them to death. This love came from someone very special in my life. My mother. Every Sunday, she would sit in her... She'd sit me in her lap and we'd do crossword together. Not to mention those check games or big jigsaws that would take up our entire floor. Our favorite game, though, was... That was Marco Polo. You know that one where you both get in the water and one calls Marco? No! One of the two died while playing Marco Polo. While they were in the water. That's why the water's right here and in the previous room. No! Some people would call it a puzzle. Playing it in a big river downhill from our house, there'd be nothing better to do. And then one day... Is everything okay? Not really, but I want to... I want to let you know about this. And then one day, I wanted to play Marco Polo and start all the way at the bottom. I was so far away, it was a miracle I could still hear my mom's voice. It took me half an hour to even get close. But then what happened? When I went up the river, my mom's voice changed. Or maybe I was not hearing it right the whole time. It sounded, well, it sounded like my dad's voice. Now, I don't think it was a big issue. My dad, I saw him sometimes. He seemed nice. But yes, as I got closer, I realized it was my dad. I got up right next to him. I opened my eyes. I asked him where mom was. And he said, with her new friend. I asked what he meant. He said I would see her soon anyway. He grabbed my arms, grabbed them real hard. I could feel his nails. No! I asked him why he was doing that. And he said, relax. It's just a game. And he pushed me under the water and held me down there for a really long time. A really, really long time. In that moment, I thought of the darndest things. I thought of the games I played before and the ones I would never get to play. I thought of my mama. And most of all, I could stop thinking. 
I couldn't stop thinking about my dad's eyes. They were wide open, but he was staring right through me. It was like he was daydreaming, thinking about a place far, far away. Guys, I was gonna do two parts because this is like an hour long game. But I might finish it. This is. And then, just like that, I went up here. It was wrong at first. Alright, hang on, guys. One. Hello, it's Editor Wolf again. Uh, if you th that that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please like. If you want to see more content by me, subscribe. And if you have any game recommendations, please leave a comment. As usual, this game will be uh, linked down below. It's free. It's on itch.io, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.